And a pitch. And that chance handled. Tosses to first. One out in the top of the first. Luis Robert now. Batting second. The center fielder. Luis Robert. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. They say you win. Pitch. Gonna count one and two. Fouled off down the right side. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. And down on strikes. Two down. Here's Yelich at the dish. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And ball one. A wind in the pitch. So now one and two. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. The next pitch misses. Ball two. And the right hander deals. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And the inning is over. Bottom of the first. Here's the second baseman, Tommy Edmond. Leading up for the Diamondback. The second baseman. And the pitch. Tommy Edmond. Swing and a miss. 1-1. One, one. Righty delivers. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Chop to the right side. Save! Anything but pretty right there, but he'll take it every time. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Marte. Here's Cattell Marte. Run around the goal. Liner, base hit. Throw into third. Max Muncy at the dish. The first baseman, Matt Muncy. Toss to Alonzo, but it's 1-0 as the run scores. And now it's Bobby Bradley. And first offering is fouled off. Bradley waits on the ground and it finds its way through for a hit. The run comes in to score from second. It's 2 nothing. Well done. Drives in the run. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. He swings and fouls one off. The pitch. In the air out towards right center. Margot sizing this one up. Snags it for the second out. Man at first. Now here's Aaron Hicks. The center fielder. Aaron Hicks. Foul ball. Kicks and deals. And he gets tied up right there. Okay. Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. Ground ball, Alonso. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it.
back here at Chase Field. New inning getting started. Here's Pete Alonso. The, the right hander back to work. Ripped on the ground Alonso. a second. One up, one down. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. Up the middle. Edmund slings the first. That takes care of Grandal. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Glaber Torres now in the box comes up empty with a swing there. Next offering is down low and it's one and one. And the pitch. Up the middle and that squirts through. So he gets on base and keeps it going. Manuel Margot up to the plate. Batting seven. The white fielder, number 13. Manuel. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. Back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. He sends a rocket to left, and we're level. It's 2-2. Two -two. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. The designated hitter. And the first pitch misses for ball one. He gave up a couple of runs in the first. His offense picked him up. It's time for him to settle in now. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's a speed threat. JT Real Muto. The catcher. The right-hander back to work. Real Muto. Swing and a miss. Going one. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location. Sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. This one lifted in the air, left field. Takes it in for the out. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder that coming enough. open instead of no staying one. closed. If he okay. does that, he's going to be able to go up the go middle the there. other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. And a foul ball. Makes the play, and that's out number three. Back here at the ballpark, onto the third inning. Now the third baseman, Jake Leading Berger. The, the third baseman. Check swing, went around, oh, and that's strike one. And a pitch. That misses, and a count even one and one. Slider clips the zone. And a swing and a miss. And one away in the top of the third. So the lineup flips over. And next to him for the Sox, Tim Anderson. Fought off foul. Tied up here in the early going. In the air, foul off first. Muncie makes the grab. And there are two outs. Two outs, base is empty. And now, now it's Luis Robert. The center fielder. Luis Robert. Check swing, but he went too far. Strike one. That one missed. Now a check swing at the 1 1. Look down to first. Did not go. Next pitch has popped up. Muncie makes the catch, and that'll do it. And welcome back as we go to the last of the third. Lead Tommy up. Edmund at the plate. Back. The second Ryan, baseman. back to work. Tommy. 
Man. Swings through that one out in front that time. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Next offering is fouled back. Lifted in the air, right center field. Margot reaching back towards the wall. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And there's one down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfect. Marte. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Now around second, going for third. And he's got himself a triple. Runner at third with one gone, and now it's Max Muncy. Now batting, first baseman, Max Muncy. That one fouled off. The pitch on the ground right side on the first now two away as they get a run across and next is the Diamondbacks DH Bobby Bradley and first offering is fouled off well, he looks fresh out there. Just needs to get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been in the past. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And that will end the inning. All set for the start of the inning. Now the left fielder, Christian Yelich. Leading off to the White Sox. The left fielder. The pitch. Christian Yelich. And there's a ball. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Drops into the glove. One down. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. The first, base, he, oh, first pitch doesn't find the zone. And there's a strike. The pitch. And one and two. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. And a ball in two strikes. Swung on, belted. That one back there. Peterson makes the grab. And now up to the plate, Yasmani Grandal. Yasmani Grandal. And first offering is fouled off. And here it comes. Stays alive. That was a nice bid right there to try to tie up this ball game. Just couldn't keep it from bending foul. He looked locked in on that three. And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. Back here in the desert, ready to go, bottom four. Now it's the Lead right up. fielder, the Jock right Peterson. Back. The right fielder, Jock The line right of the there. pitch. Rocketed out towards right center. He can't get there, it's a base hit. And it gets by him. And he'll pull into second safely. It's Aaron Hicks now. Now batting, center fielder, Aaron 
pick. And fouled off. Up the middle, and it's through for a hit. Peterson headed for the plate. He'll score. It's 4-2. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Didn't try to do too much with it. Just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these now days with guys Hepburn. trying to launch and hit home JT. runs. But sometimes you got to shorten Real up just like that. JT Real Mutil steps in. And the righty deals. Off the mark there. Okay. And that's ball one. Boog, it looks like somebody missed the swing sign. That's the first pitch this team's taken for a ball all game long. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. At the belt and fires. That's towards center. Robert drifts towards it. Brings it in. And there's one down. A hey, Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. The batter, the third baseman, A hey, Eugenio Suarez. Swings through that one, 0 oh, and 1. Well, right now, this battery has seen the aggressiveness of the hitters early in the count and often. So, got to be real careful that you don't give too good of a pitch, especially early in the count. Marco under it. Calls it in, and there's two away. And here is Jorge Soler. First time now up was a pop out. Jorge Soler. And it's fouled away. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball. Picks off the of first with two away. Anderson handles. They get the force, and that'll do it. Welcome back. Now it's the second baseman, Glaber Torres. Leading off to the right side. The second baseman. Swings and misses. That's strike one. Swings through that one. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Here's Manuel Margot. First offering misses the mark. One down, base is empty. Late swing, fouled off. There's a 1-1. Into center. Hicks is there for it. Two down. So up next for Chicago, Carlos Santana. Hit it well, but fly it out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. And there's a foul ball. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Wrapped foul. And he deals. And now one and two. Here's a one two. Fouled off. He was late. Next one just misses. And that's ball two. 
Two down, nobody on. Out there to center. Hicks is there for it. He's got it. And that's the inning. Back here at Chase Field, bottom of the inning. Here's the Diamondbacks leadoff go. hitter, Gordon Tommy Edmund. Edmund. The second baseman, Tommy Edmund. A wide to kick the pitch. Chases the changeup in the dirt. It's amazing to look up and see 88 miles per hour on that changeup. Back in the day, that was a pretty good fastball. But with high velocities these days, that speed differential is right where it needs to be. He steps on the bag, and the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. The Cattell Marte four. up to the plate. Shortstop. Cattell. Marte. And he hits a ground ball right side. Oh, great stop. Gathers and throws. Two up, two down. Now batting. First baseman. Matt. Here comes Max Muncy. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. And a foul ball. Here's a 1 1. Bounce to the right side. Alonso collects it. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Top six. Here's the third baseman, Jake Berger. Gap back to work. Ripped on a line to center. One up, one down. Tim Anderson steps to the plate for the White Sox. Good contact guy, good defender. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. When a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter, you've got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you've got to take what he's offering that day. Next one misses, and yeah, the count one and two. Kicks and fires. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Luis Robert stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Two outs. Strike two. He has a tendency to chase out of his zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And that's a foul ball. A one two and a swing and a miss and that's that bottom of the six and here is Bobby Bradley leading up for the Diamondback a wind in the, the pitch. designated hitter Bobby swing and a miss Bradley. strike one left hand hitter waits that's ripped to right down the line. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. And it gets by him. And he's going to get to second with nobody out. And Jack Peterson stands in. One for two. Up next to the Diamondback. The right fielder. John. Fly ball down the right field line. If it's fair, it's gone. And that is gone. Jack Peterson bops one out, and they add on. It's 6-2. Aaron Hicks at the plate. Now the seven Aaron Hicks. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the one shot. Number 48 is only Parado. First offering misses badly for ball one.
swing and a miss and he got him to chase. Right handed reliever. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. Popped up. Torres settles underneath it. Squeezes it. And there's one away. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. Known for his JT. rocket arm behind the plate. It's softly on the ground to third. Berger picks it up. Tosses across the first. Out on a bang bang play, but he made it close. Two outs, base is empty. Now the third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. That's ripped. Base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. And it kicks off the base of the wall. And into second easily with a two out double. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat, I'll tell you. Man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like now that. I mean, sure, Left home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a Go true professional back. hitter more than a bolt the other way. Soler, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Man on second, two down. That one ran inside, almost got him. The pitch. And that one fouled off. On the ground to the left. Toss to Alonzo. That ends the inning. And welcome back. Top of inning number seven. And now it's Christian Yelich. Leading off for the White Sox. The left wing, number 22. Christian Yelich. And the pitch. That misses. Ball one. And that one hit to first. And he takes it himself for the out. And now the first baseman, Pete Alonso. Now batter. The first baseman, Pete Alonso. And that one lifted in the air center field. Hicks is there for it. Makes the grab. Two down. Yasmani Grandal up to hit. The batter, the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Ground ball right side, and it gets by him. Here is the, the young phenom, Labor Torres. Labor Torres. And first offering is fouled off. And the right hander deals. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. 0 and 2 now. Slider misses outside. Grandal off of first with two away. Nope. Next offering misses, and the count's even at two. Two balls, two strikes. Next offering is fouled back. Two two down. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Hicks gliding back. He makes the grab. That is the inning. Set for the last half of the seventh. Here's the Diamondbacks leadoff hitter, Tommy Edmond. The second baseman, Tommy Edmond. The pitch. That misses the zone, and that's ball one.
swing and a miss as he was out front that time. The 1-1. One, one. And that one fouled off. Next offering is foul back. Swing and a ball popped up. Torres makes the grab. One away. An outstanding hitter in oh, Cattell Marte. Not shortstop. Cattell Marte. Out towards left center. And a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Safe at second with a double. Third hit for him this afternoon. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying well, to do too much, but baseball. still looking to drive Man. it. And that's exactly what Muncie. he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Here's Max Muncie, that funky Muncie. And now the 01. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. The 0-2. Into center and a base hit. Here comes Marte around third. He scores, and the lead is up to five. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. And the batter now, Bobby Bradley. On the ground left side, six, four, three, double play. And the inning is over. We go to the eighth, and now the right fielder, Manuel Marco. Leading off for the white side. A new picture in the game, Amir Garrett. And he's got a nice lead to work with. And the pitch. That one misses. And that is ball one. And the pitch. And that one handled. First out in the top of the eighth. Oh, a well thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. Here's the White Sox DH, Carlos Santana. First pitch way inside a fastball. Kicks and deals. He swings and fouls one off. Next offering is foul back. Foul ball there. And it's even up. Back to right. What a play in right field. Two down. And up next for Chicago, Jake Berger. Jake Berger. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And now the lefty. That's a hit. And that turns the lineup over. Now a long throw to first. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. When you can turn a ball around at 107 off the bat, it's going to make you feel really good inside. He elevates that a little bit more. It's definitely out of here. Tim Anderson stands in with two away as he takes a ball. They say it went. On the ground to third. Whips it across. And yeah, they take care of Anderson for the out. That's out number three. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now Jack Jordan Peterson. The, Titans, the right fielder. Josh the pitch. Peterson. 
And that's outside. Swing and a miss. A 1-1. One, one. That one blasted deep to right. Way back there. And that is gone. He sends it out of here. And they add to their lead. It's 8-2. Next to hit for Arizona. Aaron Hicks. One for three. Aaron Hicks. And first offering is fouled off. Right-hander kicks, deals. In the air, left field. Yelich makes the play, and there's one down. And now it is JT Real Muto. JT Real Muto. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Now fly ball to right center. Robert, as he glides to his left, puts the squeeze on it, and there's two down. Eugenio Suarez now up to the plate now. The third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. That one fouled off. The pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And the 2 Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the inning. All set to start the ninth in this one. And now here's the Leading speed threat. Right Outfielder, Luis Robert. Luis. And here it comes. Robert. There's a strike. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. And he deals. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. And, and a pitch. The other way. And that's a base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff now. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on him. Ouch, that one got him. Well, it's a little concerning when a fastball gets away like that. No run or break to worry about, and he'd still hit him. Drew Pomerantz gets handed the rock out of the pen, and he'll try to keep this big lead right where it is. Number 15, Drew. Alonso stands in now and watches strike one. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right, and that will get out of play. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation or maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And there's one down. Yasmani Grandal steps to the plate for the White Sox. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Hicks racing over to make the catch. So first and second with two outs. Now Labor back. Torres up the to hit baseman. for the fourth time Labor. tonight. Four. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Kicks and fires. Now one and one. Two on, two outs. So now one and two. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. Down to their final strike. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one. 8-2 the final here for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby saying so long.